as a L earlier this year, the UFC had three Mexican champions. What would it mean for you to become the first Mexican power slap champion? It'd, it'd be the best thing that probably hap ever happened in my life. Um, I think just being the first Mexican to ever be a title holder in this sport is just, um, it just go hand in hand to being a fucking warrior, being a cha uh, with that champion mentality. Us Mexicans are always warriors, so just being able to hold the title of being the best slapper, we get slapped all the time by our moms. So <laughs> it's gonna be a cool, cool feeling to be able to have that title over my name. You know, it's quite, it's quite widespread that the Hawaiians are really backing, you know, their their own in the sport. Are the Mexicans doing it the same? Or do you, are they are they having a little bit harder time to you know get behind power slap and slap fighting as a whole? Yeah, I think it's a slow. Uh, it's still a slow transition, uh, not just for the Mexicans, but for a lot of places in the world. Um, but it's getting there. I, I have definitely seen some supporters from Mexico. They reach out, comment on my stuff, add me, and it's great to see that. But definitely, it's it's a slower process than what. I was anticipating, but it's happening, man, and it's it's just continuing. So um, it's just a matter of of, of them getting that um, outreach and getting to see the slaps and getting to see nice, clean slaps, especially. So not just knockouts, just exchanges. I think that's what what would probably have the Mexican fans rooting for. And right now, John's the only loss on your record. Is this one more personal for you the second time around? Definitely, man. Uh, losing is not a part of my life. I hate losing. Uh, if I lose one time, I'm not going to lose again. And the second time around, it's just it's going to be a totally different um, outcome. So losing to John Davis, for sure, um, just kind of flipped everything. And just, uh, man, I'm a different different person. Like, I am still Asael El Perro Rodriguez, but... Man, you, you've seen my performance the last two matches, and it's just continuing to grow. I just continue to grow every single match, and losing to Jordan Davis just was something that had to happen, I guess. You've been quite vocal about the lifestyle changes that you've made over the last year. Um, you know, are you proud of, you know, coming from where you, you know, where you came from on the show, um, you know, and the way you were portrayed there to the person you are today standing here? Yeah, man, so... Prior to the show, I was already making the changes, so it was just being in the slap house, just having the alcohol and just things available for me to just have a good time. I think um, just that was just all, all Asael, like having a good time, you know. Um, but just the transition from being able to show that that character was not fully me, um, and if it is me, it's just like. Yeah, I think um, just to how I am right now, performing wise, attitude wise, my life, my lifestyle changes that I've made, I am really proud of of what I've changed in my life. Um, there, it's just it all has happened before power slap. So it was just that little moment just kind of like brought me back a little bit. But man, I'm proud of Asael for sure. Is there anything you'd say to new you know slap fighters coming into the sport um, around reputation? how they handle themselves, you know, on potential, you know, road to the title, uh, you know, series in the future. Do you have any advice for them before going into that type of scenario? Yeah. Um, I think some people have reached out to me uh, just to, to say, like, get some suggestions on how to live in the house and stuff like that. Um, and man, it's just, uh, it's just a matter of staying true to yourself. Don't get, let yourself get bullied, obviously. Um, feel like when you're in a house like that, um, filled with testosterone, filled with a lot of gentlemen that are there hungry to win and be on top of everyone, you're going to get a lot of bullies. So maybe just um, not letting that happen and and just stepping up for yourself and proving it not only then and there, but proving it when you're on stage. You know, So that's what I mean when um, staying true to yourself know if you're if you either have it or not because some people think they have it and they just end up not having it so it's just like stay true to yourself if you 
try to find because it's important because if you don't find those little gaps in your in your game you're always gonna end up losing so i feel like just staying true to yourself know if there's things that you need to change and just change them and then uh, things will, will will go good for you in your previous match you went to san diego for two months to train and prepare this time around you uh you went lone wolf and you stayed in granada to train by yourself um you know what was the reason why this time around um just being away from my wife for the two months i think it um it, I, I think it just provided me with that like mental game where I'm not just on vacation anymore. We're training. Um, I obviously missed my wife for those two months. And I feel like for those two months, the amount of training and the amount of time I just put in into my mental health and my physical health provided me with the foundation that I needed to be able to just do it on my own. Um, so just being able to do it for the two months, got my win my two wins and then go back to Grenada. And now it's just all on me now. I don't have it. it like, it's not going to fall bar back to anyone else, but me. Um, but going back to San Diego is still in the, in the, um, plan for my training, uh, regimen. So you'll probably see me again in San Diego for a couple months. Um, so Right now, it's just a matter of like playing around with it. I'm liking how this training camp uh, has prepared me. So uh, we'll see if we go to San Diego again, just to continue that. One last one. Are you dropping a new rap song tomorrow after the fight? There's a lot. I have an album already. It's like seven songs. <laughs> um, just waiting for for this championship belt to be wrapped around me. And I'll release uh, some of them. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's some that I think are fire and... They have potential. My wife loves them. So that, that's another thing that you either have it in rap or you don't. And I think I have it. It's so always like, stay true to yourself. Can we get one acapella verse? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> As I yell, uh, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. How are you? Good. You talked earlier about the Mexican heritage and the support. I mean, I think in any sport, um, boxing, soccer wherever especially i mean just the warriors the support comes out um from what you've seen in this in power slap with the polynesians um when they're up there on the on, on the platform and even if they're not if you're against one the energy that's in the building can you feel that feed off of it whether it's against you with you just for for the match itself how can you just talk about the polynesian culture and the influence and the energy that they bring oh yeah definitely i feel like that type of energy will definitely boost you up there um and maybe it'll break you as if, you're, if your opponent is is from that um it'll probably break you as well it could break you if not uh pump you up if, if that's part of you, uh your, your your own culture cheering for you like that so definitely is something that uh that is great to see for the sport they back each other up so great and i feel like it's just a a great way to provide that little extra pump even if the person doesn't need it so with the with the fighters themselves or the strikers themselves the polynesians the way that they support one another the, the camaraderie that they've built is that inspiring um, yeah, definitely. And, uh, I just imagine myself having uh, a Mexican crowd out there. Um, and it would be great. You know, you don't want to let them down if they're out there cheering you on like that. And uh, yeah, it, it's for sure inspiring. Hey, Zale, how's it going? Good. How are you, man? Good. Uh, I was curious, what do you uh, have to say to the people that look at you and still see Azael from Power Slap 1? They still see the guy in the house and they don't, rec they don't respect the amount of work that you've put in. I just, I simply just ignore them. Those people just are kind of like uh, lost in, in their own little world. Not, you're not able to see someone for, for the changes that they've made. I would just always ignore them. They're out there just crying and hating for no reason so you, you put in a lot of work and you've really changed your life to prepare for this moment what what when getting that belt put around your waist what would that truly mean for you man my whole life i 
I've wanted to be famous. I wanted to be a, a professional athlete. It just happened to be power slap now. So obviously when I got the opportunity to be a power slapper, I was 100% committed from day one. And uh, just having that, that slap belt over me just and being crowned like the best slapper in my division it's just it's 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 gonna be great man um i'm excited for all the op other opportunities it's gonna provide defending the title um being able to just just be known as the best 185er it's gonna be great man uh john was saying that he thinks that your division gets overlooked do you feel the same way oh definitely man um especially a fight like this with john davis both five and one it's a rematch we both had some uh we've both had matches after that that uh power slap one it's definitely slept on man like me and john davis are top hitters we both have a chin five and one like i said we were both teammates in the house definitely slept on because it's not talked about as much as it should be after saying all that do you think this is going to championship rounds I'm going with the mentality that it, it could go to championship rounds, but I'm also going with the mentality that I'm really confident in my slap. As long as John doesn't flinch, as long as John stays there and takes it like we're supposed to, I don't really see it going to championship rounds. But uh, who knows? He could be training as much as I have or, or, or even better. So I'm expecting the strongest John that I've faced and seen before. You mentioned before that your wife is constantly pushing you. She's uh, she's coming home. She's telling you to slap the pillow, checking that power. Is she still keeping you on your toes? Oh yeah, um, we we bought the little um, Taekwondo pad, so we'll just before that's a, a thing that I used to not do before, like practice my slap. I was just always overconfident. I was now she's like holds it. I'll slap it really good, and then the next one she'll be like, Nah, that's not. And then I get mad. I'm like. What do you mean? No, that's a beautiful slap. But definitely, she's pushing me. She's being true to, to me. She's like, I'm just. Uh, she tells me how it is. The slap was weak, or that's, or you pivoted, or anything like that. So it's great to have her for sure as in my corner. Thank you for your time, man. Good luck Thank tomorrow. Thank you, bro. Sorry, just talking about your wife. Oh, do you think she'd ever do slap fighting? No, no. <laughs> I think she would have a great slap. But I would never want to see her take a hit. No, no, no. What do you think about the fact that there are some girls on the card this time? Oh, I think it's great. I think it's going to, um, especially the girls that, that are on the card have a lot of experience under them. So I think it's going to be, a, it's going to uh, bring for sure a great um, audience um, and different. I mean, we, we had the super heavyweights introduced a few power slaps ago. Now it's the women's division. It just continues to get bigger, and it's just like we want to see more divisions. We obviously want to see maybe 160 pounders, and it's just great. I think it's going to be that foundation that's good, just going to make power help power slap get a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger as they as they go. But I'm excited for the women's division for sure. So you said you wouldn't want to see her get slapped, but has she said that it's hard for her to watch you get slapped? Yeah, I think she says when she's there getting ready to see me get slapped. Uh, she's a little bit nervous or the, a few days before, but then when she sees me and she asks me if I'm ready, like the way that I answer her, she's always just like, I'm not scared. Like it, it all goes away. And then when I, when she does see me eat a slap, she's like, all right, he has it. Like he's going to win this shit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys.